I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will prepare for our test and learn how to find asymptotes for rational functions. I have taken three rational functions here. This also from my student's assignment. The first one is y equals to 3x over x square minus 4. The second one is 2x cubed plus x square plus 5 divided by x square. And the third one is y equals to 2x square minus 18 divided by x square plus x minus 12. Now to find horizontal asymptotes, what should we do? Let us first discuss horizontal asymptotes. For horizontal asymptotes, we check the degree of numerator and denominator, right? So for horizontal asymptote, check degree of numerator and denominator. That is what we do to find horizontal asymptote. And we will see how checking and, and writing the value is related. So in the first case, 3x, degree is how much for the numerator? In this case, the degree is, now here, uh, we'll say numerator, numerator degree is how much? It is equals to 1, denominator degree is equals to 2, right? Since the denominator degree is higher, it will have horizontal asymptote and the equation is y equals to 0, right? So x axis is the horizontal asymptote. In this particular case, numerator degree is 3, right? So that is numerator, let me write degree is 3, and denominator degree is 2. Now since the numerator degree is higher, in this case we do not have horizontal asymptote, right? So we do not have horizontal asymptote, but we have oblique asymptote. Now we'll find the equation of oblique asymptote, right? But no horizontal asymptote. Here we find that the numerator degree is equal to denominator degree and it is equal to 2. So whenever that is the case, in that case we have a horizontal asymptote and the equation is y equals to 2 over 1. So it is 2. So in this case the equation is ratio of leading coefficients. So that is a standard way of finding uh, the equation of horizontal asymptote okay so this is how you find horizontal asymptote so we have horizontal asymptote for these two functions not for this function okay but we have oblique asymptote and we'll see how to find oblique asymptote later now let us find vertical asymptotes to find vertical asymptotes what we have to do is we have to find that the denominator should be zero right First is denominator equals to zero, and then this, and it should not have a common factor. So it should not have common factor, no common factor. That denominator should not have common factor with numerator. Right? Otherwise, we get a hole with numerator. Okay. Otherwise, you may get a hole. Now, if I analyze the first one, the the function could be written as, let me write down the function, we have y equals to 3x over, I could write this as x plus 2 times x minus 2. So we have two vertical asymptotes here. So one is at x equals to minus 2, the other one is at x equals to plus 2. So these are the two vertical asymptotes. In this case, denominator is x squared. So we have one vertical asymptote and I am writing this vertical x, x equals to 0 is our vertical asymptote. Here we need to factor the denominator. I could write x squared plus x minus 12 as equal to. So we should factor both numerator and denominator. So what I will do here is we will actually rewrite and factor both. So we get y equals to, if I factor the numerator I get 2 times x square minus 9 and the denominator will be minus 12 and this is plus 4 so x plus 4 times x minus 3 right now you can factor the numerator further we get x plus 3 times x minus 3 and here in the denominator you get x plus 4 times x minus 3 so it is necessary to factor and now you see that you get cancelled so in this particular case, we have only one vertical asymptote 
and that is at x equals to minus 4 correct and that is a hole so we have a hole at x equals to 3 so there are two discontinuities however one of them is a hole and that is why we were saying denominator should be 0 with no common factor for a vertical asymptote here we had a common factor that results into a hole correct we are left with one thing which is oblique asymptote now let us find how to calculate oblique asymptote for that we will divide this function by x square so i could write this function as y equals to if i divide by x square i get 2x plus 1 plus 5 over x square right so here we get oblique asymptote and the equation is y equals to 2x plus 1 is oblique asymptote You, I hope you appreciate how I found it, right? So, so that is the oblique asymptote, but no horizontal asymptote in this case, correct? So that is how you should be solving these questions. So we can summarize here. So in this case, we have a horizontal asymptote, which is y equals to 0, and we have vertical asymptotes, which is x equals to plus 2 and x equals to minus 2. In this case, we have oblique asymptote, right? Which is y equals to 2x plus 1. And we do have a vertical asymptote, which is x equals to 0. In this case, we have horizontal asymptote, which is equals to x equals to 2, right? The ratio of leading coefficients. Vertical asymptote, which is y equals, I'm sorry, Horizontal asymptote will be y equals to vertical asymptote is x equals to we found two factors minus 4 resulted into vertical asymptote plus we had a hole at x equals to plus 3. So those are the results for these three rational functions. I hope you understand and recall all what you have learned about rational functions and that is a good example to display your knowledge. Thank you and all the best.